properties of a system. Properties are nothing but these are the characteristics of a system. Example of the properties are pressure, volume, temperature, etc. I will consider a small example. If we want to define any human being in physical sense, we will define a human being with the height of the human being, color of the white human being, weight of the human being. Likewise, if we want to define any thermodynamic system, we need some characteristics of a system. Those are nothing but properties. Example, let us consider a hydrogen gas in a rigid container or a cylinder. Now we will define that hydrogen gas in a cylinder with pressure of the hydrogen gas. It is a property. Volume of the hydrogen gas. It is a property. Temperature of hydrogen gas. These are the properties. So there are two types of properties. Intensive properties and extensive properties. Intensive properties are the properties which are independent of mass or the size. Example, pressure, temperature, density. Pressure is independent of mass. Temperature is also independent of mass. Similarly, density is also independent of mass. And the extensive properties are the properties which are dependent on its mass. Example, volume is an extensive property. All forms of energy is an extensive property. Entropy is an extensive property. Potential energy is an extensive property. How we can differentiate these intensive properties and extensive property? We can avoid a confusion by taking a small example. Let us consider a gas in a container whose mass is m, volume is v, pressure is p, temperature is t and the density is rho. Let's divide this rigid container into two spaces with some intermediate wall. Then the mass gets changed to m by 2, m by 2 and the volume becomes v by 2, v by 2 and the pressure still remains constant as p, p. Temperature will also remains constant as t, comma t. Density will also remains constant as rho, comma rho. When you observe this case, volume is changed. When the mass is changed, directly this volume is dependent on its mass. Even the mass is changed, but you can observe the pressure remains constant of this hydro, of this thermodynamic system. And the temperature is also remains constant. Density is also remains constant even the mass changes. Directly we can conclude that this pressure, temperature, density is independent of mass. So we can say these pressure, temperature and density are intensive properties. Whereas when the mass changes, volume changes. Means volume is an extensive property. So by taking this simple example, you can avoid the confusion between intensive property and extensive properties. And one more important point is all specific properties are intensive property. Example, if you take specific property, specific volume means volume per unit mass is a specific volume. Even the volume is an extensive property, volume per unit mass is an intensive property. Similarly, specific internal energy, internal energy per unit mass, even internal energy is an extensive property. Internal energy per unit mass or specific internal energy is an extensive, sorry, intensive property. Likewise, specific enthalpy is an intensive property. And specific entropy is also an intensive property. Finally, a property is a point function. Pressure is a point function. Temperature is a point function. Properties are not a path functions, which depends on only end states.